his name. Then you have the pectoralis minor. Pectoantibrachialis that goes from the linea alba, which is the white line in the middle of the chest. To the elbow, or brachium. And between the pectoralis minor and the pectoantibrachialis and going underneath the pectoantibrachialis is the pectoralis major. <laughs> Deep muscles. When you cut at an angle through the pectoralis group and the xiphi humoralis up into the shoulder. Here you have the start of the rectus abdominis that runs the whole length of the abdomen down to the pubic bone. Cut through this bundle of nerves and blood vessels. The first muscle you're going to be looking for is the transversus costarum. Crosses the ribs. And by the way, if you haven't finished the deep back muscles, you need to do that. <clears throat> Leading into the transversus costarum is the medial head of the scalenus. longest head of the scalenus is the intermediate head. And below that is the lateral head.
transversus posterum, medial head of the scalenus, intermediate, lateral head of the scalenus. Serratus ventralis, big fan-shaped muscle, subscapularis on the lower border of the scapula. Go down a little later, find two ribs. Make a very set shallow cut. There's a layer of fat between the two, the external and the internal intercostal muscles. Those are what you eat when you eat spare ribs. Nice to know how to eat ribs. Not anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like them anymore. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Yeah. Okay, I want Grace Allison and Corey Bass up here. Bring a sheet of paper. Can you pinpoint some of them? Muscles? Just a minute. Come on, step lively. 